Hey friends, what's up? It's April. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a pretty short TBR video for August. So I'm actually attempting ARC August. So I'm attempting to read as many ARCs that I've been sent or physical copies that I've been sent. E-ARCs from NetGalley, that kind of thing. Because they are really piling up on me. I think I have a total of 35. But obviously I'm not going to read 35 books. So I've selected, I think, seven books that I just really, really, really want to read. They're at the top of my TBR for August. So let's just get straight into it. There's not much else to say. So first, the only non-arc that I have. Oh, ew, I need to take the sticker off this. Um, is Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson. My friend Kara and I are buddy reading a Sanderson book a month in the Cosmere universe to catch up and in August we're reading this one. Ew, let's just take the sticker off. <laughs> Shadows of Self is the second book in the Second Era Mistborn trilogy, if that makes sense. It's book five in the overall Mistborn series. Uh, very excited because I loved how the Alloy of Law left off oh, with the connections to the previous era. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm really excited to return to this world. Then we have an arc that I haven't received in the mail yet. So it's called It's Not You, It's Me by Gabrielle Williams. This is being sent to me by Alan and Unwin and it sounds super cool. It says, without warning, 40-year-old Holly Fitzgerald wakes up inside the body of Trinity Byrne, a teenager living in LA in 1980. Holly is forced to get her bearings and fast, whilst Trinity is trapped back in Holly's body in a pandemic-stricken Melbourne 2020. Holly gets to live out her teenage dream uh, with Trinity's all-girl punk rock band. Parents who actually love her and a cute boy best friend, but Holly has a certain maturity and a post hashtag me too sensibility which really makes life in the 80s interesting it sounds so good so i'm going to be reading that one and posting a review on the release date which is august 31 so you can keep your eyes peeled for that so that's the first arc and then we've got unravel the dusk by elizabeth lim um i was sent this by penguin quite a while ago actually i feel bad i haven't gotten to it yet but i picked this one because the buzzwordathon buzzword for august is a time of day so perfect so this is the sequel to spin the dawn there's only two books in this duology so i'll be excited to get another series completed because that's one of my low-key goals for this year is to finish as many series as possible i am super duper excited to get to this one then we've got malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed i was actually sent an arc of this probably about five days before it actually came out so this is the actual finished copy so that's a great excuse because i'm dying to read this book it follows the kids of one of the husbands in evelyn hugo and all i know is it's the, a party gone wrong that's all i know i'm super duper excited i might get the audiobook of this one actually let me know if you've listened to the audiobook is it good let me know in the comments. <laughs> Another book I've been dying to read that I got as an e-arc and didn't read in time is The Ones We Meant to Find by Joan He. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited to read this book. I honestly don't really know what to expect. Apparently it's like a dystopian sci-fi kind of speculative maybe. I don't even know. I just know I have to read it. And yeah, super, super, super excited for that one. Then we've got She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. And I was sent a finished copy by Pam McMillan. Thank you so much. Oh, it comes out on Emily's birthday. Cute. So this will be probably already out by the time you watch this, depending on how quickly I edit it. I didn't actually realize that Shelley Parker Chan is Australian. How cool is that? Um, but yeah, I've been hearing amazing things about this. It is, yes, it's inspired by the Ming Dynasty's first emperor. So yeah, it takes place in 1345 in China. Apparently this is absolutely devastating and I am excited to have my heart broken. And then I have an ebook that I really, 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 really want to read. I got it off NetGalley again, but if you watch my Midi Book Freakout tag, I have broken up with NetGalley, so from here on out, I will not be requesting anything from NetGalley. I won't even be touching that website because the temptation is strong. But 
I really do want to read this book and it just came out in Australia and it is The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I haven't even read Beach Read yet, but I've just been hearing amazing things and I am in such a romance mood at the moment. So to be honest, it might be one of the first books I pick up in August. So those are my main priority reads. I Like I said, I have 35 books that I could read for Arc August. I'm not going to go through all of them because we'd be here all day, but I might read some other ones. I might just keep reading some other romance books because I'm really in the mood. Who knows? But hopefully these ones will for sure be read in August. Oh, I didn't even mention. So obviously I've stopped doing Deck of TBR. I just, I want to read just what I want to read, you know? So I think the time of Deck of TBR has come to an end. It was so fun, but it's almost been a year since I started it and I just... I'm not having fun with it anymore so we're just moving on and just reading what we want to read. But anyway that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon in a new video. Goodbye! I said that really weird. <laughs>